everybody so this is a book review today for you and this is called Return to Sender by Fern Michaels and what I have found with this author for me at least is that um, hit or miss sometimes I enjoy the books sometimes I don't like them at all so um, in this case I liked almost the whole book until it got to the end um, I felt that I kept wanting to turn the page and see what was going to happen. It was kind of kooky. Um, well, at least I thought what the lady was doing was a little bit kooky. And then, um, and there was emotional stuff in here too, which was neat. And um, But at the end, it just, it just abruptly felt like it ended. Um, I guess there was a sort of culmination where everything came full circle, but I just thought that like all of a sudden, whoop, full circle. And then it didn't tell you exactly what happened to the characters. It sort of um, just left it as, okay, this is what happened, the end, and you get to imagine for yourself um, whether or not certain characters live or die or are happy together or not, things like that. Um, I'm going to read the back of it to you. At 17, Rosalind Lynn Townsend finds herself pregnant and alone, rejected by Nick Pemberton, her baby's father. Nineteen years later, Lynn is the owner of a thriving diner with her of a thriving diner in her Georgia hometown, and Will has grown to a fine young man who is about to start at NYU. When Lynn visits New York with Will, she crosses paths with Nick, now a millionaire CEO. Helped by Jason, a hired detective, and her best friend Sally, Lynn sets out to disrupt Nick's life, but Lynn must choose between the revenge she thought she she thought would free her in the bright new future that's about to be delivered to her door. So in this book you learn about her troubled past, you um, learn about how she gets pregnant, um, the father of her son, you also learn about him and his past and their futures end up connecting somehow. And Return to Sender comes from um, all these letters that she sent to the father of her child over the years that she always kept with her. And they always got returned back to the sender until the end. So in this book, this is the large print edition by the way. So if you want to take like a still page shot and you want to kind of read um, the style of the writing, feel free to. This is the prologue. Anyways, um, I would recommend it as a nice, quick read, and nothing amazing or over the top, but it is a decent read. So if it's like, how many stars out of five? Two and a half, because it's good, it's not bad, it's not amazing. So that's my review slash opinion about this book. I hope it was helpful, and thanks for watching my videos, folks. See ya!